Hello, today I would like to show you how to activate feature on a Motorola radio. We are going to use a entitlement ID. We are going to load that entitlement ID into the CPS and then we are going to activate our feature on radio. In my case, that's going to be a Wi-Fi. So this radio will have possibility to connect with a Wi-Fi network, but exactly the same process will be with uh, any other option. The whole process is divided into two major parts. The first one, you are going to order your feature from Motorola distributor, and you are going to get a code. That code you are going to load into your CPS on computer that you are going to use for programming your device. What is very important, you need to have internet on that computer. The second step is actually enabling feature on your device. This can be done offline. So if your repeater, if your radio is off-site where you do not have internet access, then it's absolutely not a problem. You can nicely activate your CPS at home, then you can go and do that in field. So let's start our process. We are going to use a CPS 2.0. In CPS 2.0, we are going to select a licenses and register device license. Now we are being asked for the entitlement ID. I've got mine code on desktop. So I'm going to go over here and this is my ID. I'm going to copy it and paste just like that. And I'm going to hit the query and it's going to connect to the Motorola and I've got the Wi-Fi subscription. I've got uh, one available because you can order multiple one under the same code. I'm going to select it over here and I'm going to go next. Now we are being asked for a serial number of radio that's going to be tied to that license ID. We can hit a add button and just copy and paste the serial number. But in my case, since I've got the radio with me, I can connect it and do that via the USB cable. So I'm going to connect the cable. Of course, you can do that process fully offline. You can just grab your serial key. You can copy it as a text file and input into that field, but I'm going to do that with a cable right now. So we are going to boot up and this is the USB icon that we are going to click. And it's going to add, read the serial number from the USB connected device. And as you can see, this is my radio. It's being shown and I'm going to hit the register. And now it's contacting Motorola and doing the uncoding things. And as you can see, the process was done successfully, but this is not loaded onto your radio. This is the part that was done online. Now we are going to do the part with the actual radio. So I'm going to select from the menu license, activate device license. Now we actually need to have our radio connected and we are doing our things. The CPS know the serial number and it's going to allow us to enable the feature. And as you can see, we've got a Wi-Fi subscriber. 
I'm selecting it and clicking activate. And now the magic is going on. I'm going to allow that. And as you can see, we've got a activation successful. So I'm going to close it. The radio should reboot itself. It's rebooting and we are going to read a code plug to make sure that the Wi-Fi option is being enabled. So let's do that right now. Let's read the code plug. And we've got our features and let's go into the Wi-Fi. It should be on the bottom and the Wi-Fi option is purchase and under network tab we've got our Wi-Fi network. Here we can connect our Wi-Fi credential. So as you can see the process was really easy. We can unplug our radio and we are good to go. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.